there's definitely shadows in here that I don't have in my collection. Maybe I have one like this, but look. I just think it's so cute and I wanted to have them all together. Can anyone relate? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Giselle and in today's video, I'm showing you all what I got at Sephora's 20% off sale that happened this past weekend. I am so excited because like there's some new things that just came out in the beauty industry. So maybe I'll be posting looks on my Instagram using these certain things that I got. Let's just get on to it. Which by the way, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'm gonna leave it on the screen. I'm way more active on there. Like I always post things, you know, stuff. So the bag looks a little exagerado, pero en realidad no compré mucho, so no sé por qué me dieron esta bolsa tan grande. Okay, okay. Mira, nomás me dieron dos papelitos. Okay, so this time of year they have really great things that are tiny and cute and good for gifts. So I recommend to go to Sephora around this time of year because you can get something for a great price with like extra little goodies. Like, let me show you an example of that. First of all, look how cute the packaging is. This is Lancome's uh, gift set, I guess you can say. So it comes with their makeup remover and it comes with their best mascara ever. I think this is one of the best mascaras in the higher range of makeup, I personally think. This is Monsio Big and it comes like a full size and like a little deluxe size of the makeup remover. I'm trying not to get the glare on this packaging, but it's kind of hard. So this was there at Sephora, so if you guys can find one, go get it so you can try out the mascara if you have it. I think this is such a great deal. And it is a great like stuffing, like what is it called? The stocking stuffer? I don't really ever, I didn't even know stocking stuffers existed. Like I didn't even know, I thought stockings were just for the, for the looks, but apparently people stuff things in there. So, next thing that I saw that was holiday-esque is Makeup Forever has this glittery dust set and there's two starlit powders and two starlit glitters. Um, let me just show you the packaging first of all. It's so beautiful and it caught my eye right when I got into Sephora. It comes with like a gold pigment. It's white powder but it has a bluish tint. Then it comes with like this duochrome glitter and then there's this pink glitter. And I'm definitely going to use one of these for the holidays. Um, I just am so excited to use this. I swatched them like uh, yesterday and I really like them. I'll try and leave like a little clip of them in the video so that you guys can see how beautiful they are. But and then I went to Huda Station and I saw like the little gem obsession palettes. So I got the blue one and the green because I felt like these are going to add value to my collection. I don't know if y'all know, but I'm all about adding value to your collection because I always seem to get eyeshadows that are just so similar to other eyeshadows in my collection and I just thought these would be awesome to add. I don't have any colors like these. I don't know if y'all do, but look at this. This is their Emerald Obsession palette and then this one is their Sapphire obsession. These are gorgeous and yes I did swatch them. They have a purple one and they have a red one but I didn't really get those. And then I know I said something about these before in one of my videos. I didn't buy them this time but I was missing one. I know. I know. I just feel like it's hard for me not to buy like all of them. I wasn't gonna buy this one, but this is their Coral Obsession palette. I feel like these are great. When I first saw them, I wasn't interested in them, but when I swatched them, I changed my mind completely. Like, guys, this is so nice. And I have mentioned these before in my videos. I'm pretty sure I uh, showed one of them at least. One of their Warm Obsessions. This is their Mauve Obsessions. And then this one is their Smoky Obsessions. So nice. I love the quality of Huda's eyeshadows. And this is the one that I just got yesterday. This one I just 
was got because I was like, you know what? I This was the only one I didn't get. And there's definitely shadows in here that I don't have in my collection. Like, I don't have a nice yellow or like, maybe I have one like this, but look. I just think it's so cute and I wanted to have them all together. Okay. Can anyone relate? I think that's how I was with the Naked collection, which by the way, I did give up all of them. Like I gave them away and I only make it like on the Naked 2 palette just because I felt like I was using that one more. And I was like, you know, I need to have at least one Naked palette in my entire collection, just as like a makeup collector, I think that's like a must have. Talking about Huda, I could not resist. Oh, oh my God, my camera's gonna fall. Um, I just had to get this palette. I feel like this one is the most eye-pleasing palette I've ever seen come out this year or like in recent years. I feel like she's really good at doing that. I feel like every palette that had like pinky, mauvey tones were eh, until this one came in, okay? Like the Naked 3, I loved it when I first saw it, but then the quality was really bad and there wasn't variety, okay? But let me just tell you, this palette has a lot for you to use. Like, there's enough transition shades, there's amazing colors. <sighs> I'm so ready to use this, I'm so excited. And I don't know if you guys knew this, but there is like a cream shade in here. It's called Concealer, no, it's called Concealed. Um, I did not know that until I swatched the palette at Sephora. And there is like white specks in some of these eyeshadows so that it looks chunkier I'm guessing or that it adds more dimension when it's on your eyelids. I'm not really sure. But the quality of the packaging guys is so good. I mean compared to like her first eyeshadow palette, I don't know if you guys remember how it was like transparent and like you could see the eyeshadows through the puff. I mean, I wasn't mad about it, you know, because I could see like the colors when it was in my drawer, but some people didn't like that. And I mean, I like that she now has a mirror. I think that's great. I kind of went eyeshadow crazy because that's what you should invest in if you are going to invest in anything at Sephora. It should be eyeshadow because you can't really find good eyeshadows at the drugstore. It's kind of hard. I got this one for my mom because she's in love with Too Faced like little tiny palettes. I think this would be good for her because she's always traveling and the shades in here are really cute. They're easy. To make an eye look with them and they smell amazing and I feel like she'll love it. So this is called a Tickled Peach Palette by Too Faced. So this is a cute little gift for anyone in your life who loves makeup and travels a lot. Or even for someone who's starting out, I think this would be really nice. All right, and then my last eyeshadows I'm gonna show y'all. I had to, like, I've never tried Natasha Denona, and I don't think I'll ever spend a hundred plus dollars on those bigger palettes, unless, like, it's a gift or something, like, then of course I'm gonna accept it. But, um, no. All jokes aside, I really thought this would be a great way to try out her formula and they were so pretty and they were really good quality like when I swatched them and all so I got the mini start palette the packaging is actually really nice even though it looks kind of cheap then I got the mini sunset palette and then this one is the mini Lila palette these are the mini versions to her bigger palette, so if you guys are also like kind of like about spending money on her bigger palettes, definitely try to find these little ones so that you can test out the formula before you even purchase that. Yeah, so I'm super stoked to use that. I'll definitely keep you guys updated. I got some lippy stuff. I went by Kat Von D and I saw that she had a lip liner in Lolita and I was so like intrigued. It's like the shade of Lolita. They're super creamy. I mean, yeah, I don't know. You guys are probably familiarized with her Lolita shade, but I'm so excited to try this out. All right, and then I went by like Sephora's line. And I feel like a lot of people don't ever look at Sephora's makeup collection because all the other brands are in there, you know, like Makeup Forever, Too Faced, blah, blah, blah. So I remembered that I was watching 
Olivia Jade's video about like Sephora collections lipsticks. And I remember this one shade, it was called Tan Lines, and I actually got it because it looks so beautiful on her. I really love her video, she's so beautiful. She's like a Sephora ambassador, I'm pretty sure, so I know she was probably just talking about them because they sent it to her, but I, I I've obviously would have never looked at them if she did not mention them. So this, this shade is so nice, guys. It's a gloss, and it's, of course, a nude. They're so inexpensive. They're $8. Packaging is definitely something that I'm kind of worried about because they are cardboard. So don't, like, kind of squish them because then it will, like, mess up the packaging. But the formula is so good, and they don't smell like anything. No, they don't smell like anything, and I think it's so cool. They have a lot of colors. So I got this brown one for my mom. She really likes like mauve colors. This one is called Yum Yum. It's a satin finish. Let me kind of lower it. I'm scared it's gonna break off. It's like a chocolate chip color. And then this one is Deep Water Bay, and it's in a cream finish. It tells you the finishes like right there on the stick. Can you guys see that? Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. So that's that shade. And this one is a matte finish and it's in the shade A Little Magic. I think the packaging is so cute, this one. Look, it's a little car carnivore. Carnivore? It's a little, um... What is this called? Oh my gosh, this is really bothering me. Celeste, Tete, can you come here? Please? What is this called? Like the picture? Carnivore? No. <laughs> like, it, it's not carnival? Is that a carnival? A uh, fairy go round? Fairy go fairies. Merry go round. Merry go round. Bitch, that's a too long. Okay, it's a merry go round. Oh my god. It's super cute. I called it a carnivore. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, so. This one's a Okay, anyways. So, this is a matte color. And that is so pretty and it's super creamy, even though it's a matte shade. Yeah, each packaging is like customized to the shades. So this one literally has cookies on it that is so cute. And then this one has like a beach and lines has like signs at the beach and the ocean. And then the merry-go-round. <laughs> Lastly, y'all know that if you spend a lot of money, you get points, blah, blah, blah. They give you free stuff that is so tiny. Anyways, I got this Kate Somerville Wrinkle Warrior. It's a moisturizing serum. I don't really like serums, so I'm really excited to try this out. It's never too early to like start wearing these things. Then I got two of Ole Henriksen's Cold Plunge Pore Mask. But this is the mask that is like a blue greenish color. This is supposed to reduce oil, purify, and reduce appearance of pores. I wore this yesterday. I posted it on my Instagram because I love masks. I think they're great to do maybe once a week, especially if you wear makeup every single day. I love the color of it and I love how it's minty. I love minty things. I think that is a great feeling on the skin. I love Ola Henriksen. I think, sorry. I think the brand has amazing things. Love their um, toner. I finished that a while back. But yeah, guys, I think that's everything. I mean, that is everything. I don't know how to end videos. Like, I don't know how to end or start. It's like really awkward. So anyways, hopefully you all liked the video. And please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see y'all in my next video.